Hello, everybody, and welcome to Math 110Z01, which is Mathematics for Elementary Education 2. My name is John Float, and I'm going to be your instructor for this semester. And uh, the most important thing right now is to write down my email, jfloat at ccac.edu, because that's going to be the quickest way that you can get in contact with me. Uh, if I do not email you within the first 24 hours, please feel free to email me again. You will not be uh, annoying me at all. It's just one of those things where it's like I have a lot of students, I get a lot of questions, and I want to make sure that I get to everybody in a timely manner, so please go ahead and email again. Now, this video is just going to serve as a kind of overview of what to expect for the course, how to navigate Blackboard, uh, how to use WebAssign, stuff like that. So the next thing that I kind of want to go over here would be our course documents, which basically holds all the documents and important forms that we're going to have. So the course syllabus, web assign information, and other important forms. And we can find all of this information right here. In fact, uh, chances are when you sign in to Blackboard for the first time, this is just going to look like this, okay? And uh, you don't see it yet, but there's going to be a little video up above, and that video is what you're currently watching. Uh, and it's going to say start here. So make sure you check that out. And then, like I said, we're going to do the course documents here. So we have our uh, course syllabus. We have WebAssign registration instructions, how to use WebAssign, final exam schedule, and the TI-84 calculator lease application. That's if you wanted to actually rent a calculator uh, for the semester. If you need to, please talk to me because I have to sign a form, but I'd be more than happy to help you with that. Now, the next thing I really, really want to go over right here would be this WebAssign uh, registration instructions. Okay, so this is going to be really important. What's nice about this is you don't have to purchase anything up front yet. Uh, WebAssign is required, but there is a free two week trial period that you can go ahead and take advantage of. So um, read the syllabus first, then go ahead and click on this document here. And this is going to walk you through everything. So here, let me zoom in here a little bit for us so we can see this. So here's, you know, my name, this is the uh, course number and section, and right here is our class key. Now, the class key is completely different from an access code, okay? And if you click on this first link right here, which says enroll with a course key, uh, there's a nice little video that Cengage has provided with us, and it's going to walk you through on how to do this, okay? And it'll show you everything from entering your course key to entering the access code and where do you do that to setting up for your free two-week trial. So everything's there for you, which is really, really nice. All right, so please take the time, watch the, watch the video, and get enrolled as soon as you can, okay? Now, once you get enrolled into this, I think a nice uh, next place to go to would be, oops, sorry, I hit the wrong thing, there we go, would be WebAssign registration and how to use. So right here, we can see this link right here. Uh, that is basically, hey, this is how you use WebAssign, okay? So uh, right here, I basically give you like a little overview. I say, listen, this video demonstrates, you know, how to use WebAssign, uh, how to ask for extensions for your homework, how to use the Ask My Teacher, how to input answers properly, stuff like that. Because uh, one of the things about this course is since we use WebAssign, you got to kind of know how to use it. And sometimes that is like the thorn in our side. Uh, it's not the math that we have problems with. It's not It's not the definitions that we're trying to understand. It's how does WebAssign want us to input the answer? So this video kind of goes over this. It's not going to hit every little detail, but it does enough, okay? Finally, the last thing I want to talk about here would just be, okay, well, I don't know why that's doing that. What is the structure of the course, all right? Let's hit that button one more time. So what would be the structure of the course? So the structure of the course is basically this, okay? Each week, I'm going to I'm gonna have a new uh, little module that pops up here. So for example, this is week one, and it's just understanding statistics and probability. So when you click on this, okay, there's going to be some things that pop up here, like the overview of statistics, uh, section one, collecting, organizing, displaying data, all right? And it'll be a little bit more in-depth. So for example, the overview is strictly an overview. And this is, I expect you to read this. So this kind of goes over like what is statistics, what are some of the key areas of statistics, um, 
gives you a grand idea. Now, we're not going to be doing every single little thing here. In fact, uh, where it says hypothesis testing, even though I kind of go over it right here, we don't even touch this in, in, in this class. You would have to actually take a stats course for this. However, the textbook does kind of mention hypothesis te testing, so I want to make sure that I include it in here, okay? But this just gives you the big overall idea of what statistics is, what it represents, and then finally, section one, collecting, organizing, and displaying data. You're not going to see anything here yet, so I'm not even going to click on this. But once I upload all the information, you're going to see a bunch of stuff here. So it's kind of like this, all right? And I think if I go back here to how to use WebAssign, I think this is this is probably the best example. Each week, I'm going to upload a new week. You're going to see you're going to have an overview. You're going to have kind of like if there's definitions or something, they're going to appear here. And then I also include my own lecture videos that accompany the book and the notes and everything else. Okay, so if if I were a student and somebody were to ask me, you know, how would you study for your class? If I'm typing it and putting it into Blackboard, that means I find it extremely important. So make sure you are you are reading what I post in, within Blackboard because that's where everything happens. And then uh, make sure you watch the video. Now, within uh, WebAssign, and I'm going to use just a generic class here. So let's go up to this one right here. Actually, here, let me put it in student mode or student mode. Get rid of that. Here we go. Now we'll go this one. All right. So once you register into WebAssign, all right, uh, across the banner, it's going to be home, my assignments, grades, communication, calendar, and so forth. And all this is covered within that video that says how to use WebAssign. All right. But I want to make sure that you actually see it. Um, right here is going to be an extension or a link to our ebook. Okay. Also, down in the lower right hand corner, ebook as well. Now, like I said, this is just a generic class. I just wanted you to kind of see what this looks like. Okay. But um, this is where we do all of our homework all of our tests, all of our quizzes. And this is where the grades are going to be located right here where it says grades. Uh, and the reason I really, really want to emphasize this is because currently we are transitioning from like old Blackboard to this brand new, new Blackboard, which is called Blackboard Ultra. And even though there is a grade book here, I cannot link these two sites together. Therefore, if you click on grade book within uh, within Blackboard, it's just going to say this kick back and relax for now. There's nothing in here. And that's because, like I said, I cannot link these together. So all of your grades will be right here within WebAssign. And if you need help, you can just email me and say, hey, where's my grade? I'll say it's in WebAssign. OK, and I will uh, show you this video again. And that's going to be it for this like brief little introduction to uh, to this course. Just to reiterate one more time, my name is John Float. And my email is jfloat at ccac.edu. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. I hope you have a great semester and I will talk to you soon.